first step is we're going to try and purchase an item and with no credit in the machine it's going to say no credit so the next step then is to put some money into the machine so we're going to put a two dollar coin in a one dollar coin and a one dollar coin and what we're going to see on the machine is that we have four credits now and so when I go ahead and try and purchase the item you get the message not enough credit so we have to go ahead and put some more money into the machine so this time we're going to put three more dollars in One, two, three. and when you come back to the machine you'll see there's seven credits now so when I try and purchase the item I'll get a confirm screen and a thank you that's too long so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to see the information on the website so the first step is to log into the website so the login name and the password and we're going to go to the sales data and the first thing you'll see we're looking at this item and now if we go back to the machine we're going to click on upload sales data and then back to the machine or device yeah and if we go over to refresh you'll see the sales quantity has increased to two okay now we're going to upload uh, new price data. So first, back to the device. I'm going to indicate that the price, you'll see that one is 625. And now back to the website. So we're going to go back. We're going to click on the row, then click on change price. choose a file and then hit OK now heading back to the device we'll see a new button has appeared called press update and if you click on press update you'll see the prices change. 